I own multiple properties that I've literally never visited. They've earned me countless thousands of pounds in rental profit and capital growth, yet I've never been near them. But it didn't start like this. Like most people, I started investing as close to home as I possibly could. I knew my own area and I was terrified that if I bought anywhere else, I'd make a stupid mistake that would see my hard-earned money evaporate. But it reached a point where if I didn't want my investing dreams to come to a total standstill, I was forced to develop a system that overcame my fear and made geography irrelevant. So what was this system? And why do I believe that almost every investor would be better off if they skipped the painful journey that I went through and adopted it from the start? Thing is, it's highly unlikely that you live in one of the best areas in the country to invest in. And it's actually probable that you live in one of the worst areas. For example, a lot of investors live in the southeast, which is a pretty terrible place to invest at the moment. And I know, it's scary. It's uncomfortable. It was the same for me, but I realised I had to find ways of investing somewhere that isn't as convenient, but where the returns are likely to be much better. And from being through it myself and speaking to hundreds of investors who've done something similar, I've identified two basic models that you can use to actually achieve this. So the first method is to pick one other area and become an expert in that area. Starting out online, and it's amazing how much you can learn about an area without leaving your sofa, but then following it up with in-person visits. And on those visits, you can develop your knowledge further, as well as starting to build up your network of local tradespeople, agents, other investors, people who can help you out when you get to the second stage. And that second stage is removing yourself from having to be in the area and finding ways to operate there remotely. So at this stage, you now know enough to carry out the investment process remotely, and you can use your local network to do the on the ground bits for you. So for example, you can sit at home and find a promising property on Rightmove. You can then call up, set up a viewing, and somebody in your local network can go along to that viewing and take pictures and videos for you. You can then call up and make your offer. And then maybe if that offer gets accepted, you choose to then make a kind of a confirmation viewing at that point. So you have seen the property for yourself. What you're doing here is basically front-loading your effort. So you're putting in a lot of time and a lot of trips to start with to try to basically build that area up until it feels like your local area. The only difference is you have to travel to get there, but you've got the same kind of network and level of knowledge. Then once you've done that, you can then step back and let a lot of the work be done for you. I've seen this method work well for people who've got the time and flexibility to travel, at least initially for that first stage, and people who are strong at building relationships because as you've seen that is such an important part of making this work. The second method is to outsource everything and become completely indifferent about where you invest. So this basically involves finding a trusted partner and then letting them do everything for you. And that could be one partner to cover multiple locations or a separate partner per city. Now this method is what our clients at Property Hub Invest do. You don't have to work with us, there are lots of other options out there. But what they do is they basically build trust with us and then allow us to go out and find the best areas for them, find the best deals in those areas, negotiate those deals and then present them to them. If they decide to go ahead, we then manage the whole purchase process for them as well. And because we cover the whole country among our team, it means that our clients get to build a diversified portfolio without having to become a true expert in any particular area or actually visit. This incidentally is what I do myself. Of course, I now buy properties through our company, but even before that was an option, I would still find people I trusted in particular locations that I wanted to invest and then let them kind of go and do everything for me basically. I've said handle everything and outsource a lot, but that isn't quite true because under this model, you've still got a really important job to do, which is to verify everything that you're being told. So you should only work with someone if you trust them, and that's great, but there's the old saying, trust but verify. You still need to assess everything that they send you away to check that they've got their facts right and that you agree with them, but also that it's suitable for you, which is something that only you're gonna know. You can do that from home and you can do it in the evenings or at the weekend, but it does still need to be done. So for this reason, I've seen this method work well for people with good analytical and research skills, and also importantly, an ability to trust and delegate once that trust has been earned. It's something that some people find easier to do than others. It's just a case of what's right for you. So it doesn't matter which of these methods you pick, or maybe you find something which is a hybrid of the two. But either way, if you do it, then the whole country immediately opens up to you and you can make such better investments. But if you can invest anywhere in the country, where should that be? Well, watch this video next, where we share where we're personally investing right now.